Hey guys, Quinton TV here, and welcome to a brand new video. Where today we're here with Woods and Mason. Look alive, it's Adler's protege. So, is there some history between you and Fidel Castro? Were you hunting Perseus in Vietnam too? Uh, you seem calm to the gravity of the mission. Are you fucking serious right now? Don't get him started. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Hold on, let me set the record straight. Here we go. <laughs> so yeah, Castro and I have some history between us. I had the opportunity to off the man, but our intel was flubbed. That's in a tidal wave of shit all the way up to D.C. So if I find out that Perseus is in cahoots with Castro, and Hudson happens to find one of my bullets in Fidel's head, well, I say chalk it up to collateral damage. <laughs> huh. Kept it under five minutes. I was expecting a diatribe. It's weird. These guys are in their, like, 50s at this moment in time. I'm pretty sure Woods was born... Well, he was serving in the Korean War in the 50s, so he would have been at least, what, 16? At least in Korea, which Korea was 1950, so we would be at least, um, one sec, let me do some maths here, I, I'm terrible with maths, so, at least 1934 is the earliest his birthday can be, wait, no, the latest his birthday can be, 1934, one sec, let me google this, what year was Frank Woods? 1930, so he's uh, 30, uh, 1930, that would make him 20 in the Korean War. Interesting. Right, you were hunting Perseus, were you hunt hunting Perseus in Vietnam too? No, we were after a different spy in case, huh? <laughs> That's right. Our team was right next to Adler's when we touched down in Way City. That's also the first time I had the misfortune of meeting Hudson. <laughs> in all those years, nothing's changed. He still has the personality of a wet fucking blanket. <laughs> good lad, Woods. Good lads. Right. <laughs> you hear that? We're fucking legends. Yeah. <laughs> Wherever we go, we bring the thunder. Man, get the fuck out of here with that shit. You seem pretty unimpressed over in Fake Town, USA. Or, are you talking about Mason right now? <laughs> As I live and breathe. <laughs> legends. Um, Hudson seems concerned about you. No, we're not gonna bring up Hudson, he'll get mad. Yep. Later, Bell. Right, let's use the evidence board. End of the line. Let's go. Uh, are you about to... Yeah, we'll no longer have ev access to the evidence board. That's interesting. Hastings left Salt Lake City. We tracked his movements all the way to Cuba. We have to assume Perseus moved the nuke there. Langley believes Castro could help Perseus smuggle it into the U.S. in exchange for a peek at the hardware, of course. That isn't gonna happen. What's the plan? The last read we have on Hastings came from 30 miles south of Havana. We suspect Perseus is using an abandoned compound there to hold the nuke. They're working under the radar, so expect... Hell yeah, we're going security. to Cuba again. We we the first grab, mission in Black Ops 1. In, grab the nuke, skyhook out. And what if the nuke isn't there? It's there. The only reason Perseus needs Hastings in Cuba is to prepare it for arming and detonation. There you have it. Hudson will arrange our exfil while we're en route. If everyone's ready, let's move out. Hey, here we go. We're going to Cuba, boys. You can tell I am excited. One sec. I've forgotten to set a timer. Uh, end of the line. Quinton Bell O'Connor, MI6, 30 miles south of Havana, Cuba, March 13th, 1981. Adler's late. No, love, we're early. Adler oh, the should boys. be checking right about. Spark, we're in position. There we go. Copy that. We're moving to flank. All teams, we do this fast and loud. Find Hastings, grab the nuke, get the hell out. Woods, light up. Hawks even come into vibe with this one. Go, go, go! The Lazar. Oh, that's Adler. <laughs> Jesus. And there's Mason, there's Woods. Oh, 
quick scoping. Wow, that aim assist is not great. There we go. I almost shot Park in the head, I'm sorry, love. He's dead. Alright, good. Nice. My boy Singer, I don't know who the hell he is, but... We got Hubba, bunch of other guys. Right, good. Everyone's dead. Who the what fuck's this dude? They finished their job. They love a reward. Capa Milana. They've got closed circuit cameras. We could use them to locate the nuclear bomb. Sharp nice. as ever, Park. Spread out. Where is Park? Oh, oh there she is. Jesus Christ. Oh, nice. I need to look out for a few more of them. Cover my ass. Nah, I'm alright, thanks, partner. I don't want to cover your ass, thanks. RPG on the balcony! Moving up! This does remind me of that mission in Black Ops 1 where you have to go and assassinate Phil Fidel Castro. It also kind of gives me uh, Black Ops 2 mission vibes where you have to go and uh, assassinate Menendez. Oh, I thought I was going to be able to get a nice little... All right. This is like the perfect place for intel around here. Hi Lazar. Is Park just not joining us? No, not here. Mason, you missed one behind the counter. Thanks, Park. Keep looking. There. Hold it. Adler, we have eyes on the nuclear device. Daddy! Someone's killing the scientists! Where? Second floor, room 27B. Right, let's go. Second floor, center room. Upstairs. Look let's out. move. Get there, Mark. Crude, but effective. Can't keep your eyes off me, huh, Mark? That's not a C4. <laughs> Get out go last part. Adler, we're moving to the second floor. We're pinned down. Move ahead. We'll catch up. Yeah, 
Is it first floor as in British first floor? Or American first floor? Because in Britain we don't the first floor is the second one off the ground. And we call the one on the ground, well, the ground floor. It makes sense. So you got ground first, second, but in America I'm pretty sure it's first, second, yeah. Etc. I'm taking the AK. Who doesn't want a good AK? Classic Call of Duty noises. The fuck is that I inside? We might be able to find an iron sights one lying around somewhere. They're really hunkered down. We must be getting close. We should just try and pick up all the weapons we see for. Wait, what's this? Okay, this, this is an iron sight. Huh? It's not got that fast max though, that's a, a disappointment. Ooh, I hate that noise. Yes. Hastings, stop talking. <laughs> Perseus sent us here. <coughs> he shot us. He escaped. Perseus would never leave his precious nuke behind. He forced us to reverse engineer the detonation codes. They give him full access to green light. What? Are you telling me Perseus can detonate multiple nukes in Europe? I'm so sorry. Hastings, stay with us. How many green light devices can Perseus detonate with those codes? He can detonate all of them. Jesus. He'll wipe out half of Europe. Blame it all on the USA. We need to find that son of a bitch, Perseus. Time to go, no? Contact! Chopper coming in low! It's gotta be Perseus! All teams head to the roof! Move! Move! We get a shit ton of reinforcements circling this compound. Hell out of here, everyone. Bizarre, get out. Clear. Out of the way. Answer, I got eyes on an HVT. South rooftop. Could be first. HVT. Um, that means something. Window. Out the window. Move, Bell. Hey, I'm in front of you. I'm sure that's where we just came in. I think I'm ready for that drink now. <laughs> Don't tease me, Bart. But we'll have to let that horse in you call it. Proper drop. Get ready. Here they come. Why don't I even pick this up from shit? Let's 
probably yeah, it's probably not exact exactly safe to use the other ones. Hey. There's our AK-74 here. I can see the plane. Park, we need to hook into the line now. We'll do it in turn. Bell, you harness up first. We'll cover. Go. Oh, oh there we go. Take cover. Shit. Uh oh. Oh no! We're nearly out of time. Three, two, one. Oh, come on, Park. The Brits gotta stay together. No, Lazar. I don't know who you are at all. <laughs> End of the line. Well, that was a goddamn fiasco. You go in with the intel you have, not the intel you want. We paid the fucking piper down there. You think this is Bell's fault? I don't know whose fault it is. I just know that Perseus doesn't have a single fucking nuke. He's got dozens. Millions of people are gonna die, and the United States will take the blame. You need to find out where he's planning to broadcast the activation signal. How are we gonna pull that out of our ass? Bell knows where it is. Bell? This goddamn science project was a failure! Don't count Adler out yet. The man has a deep bag of tricks. Dun dun dun. Oh, that's where all the nukes are. We got one in London, we got some in like, I don't know, Glasgow? No, that's not Glasgow. We got two in the UK, so I'm not. What what city is that? It's on the border. It's not Edinburgh. It's not Glasgow. One sec. Actually, it might be Glasgow. Let me just have a look on a map. Maps. No, I think that is actually Glasgow. Come on. Prince and Bell O'Connor. MI6. West Berlin, March 14th, 1981. What the fuck happened there? Sims, get the gurney. Oh, are we really injured or some shit? Bell. I feel like I owe you. Well, you can't fucking do. Bloody hell. We're going to lose a lot more than Lazar if we don't execute this next move correctly. We need you to hang in there for one more assignment. I'm counting on you again, Bell. All right, Thanks. whatever. Get the dosages ready. All of them. Adler, stop wasting our valuable time. Fuck off, He's Hudson. He's of no use to us anymore. Stay alert, Bell. You're the key to stop these persons. You always have to. No more half assing it. We're doing an intracerebral injection. What the Injecting hell? directly into the brain could provoke seizures, or worse. Damn. There's some spot in indoctrination. Sure about this doc. Oh, that's horrible. Memory should begin almost immediately. Bell, listen to me. I need you to remember. Think back to our time in Vietnam one more time. We need to finish what we started. We had a job to do. Hey, oh, we're going back to Vietnam again. Looks like it. Think, Bell. Perseus. Do you remember coming face to face with Perseus in Vietnam? Maybe. EKG is spiking. 
shit. Heart rate's off the charts. I need you to relax and focus, pal. Your helicopter crashed. You made your way through the jungle, alone. You found a bunker. Do you remember the bunker, Bell? We need to know what's inside that bunker. Oh shit, so... What's going on? Can you hear crickets? Do not trust Adler. Adler is lying to you. Do not trust him. Do not listen to Adler. He is lying to you. He is lying to you. Do not trust Adler. What the fuck? During a Break on through Quinta Bell Connor MI6, Central Highland, South Vietnam, July 16th, 1968. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. Sheets is just fucking dead. The crash survivors were defending against a VC attack. Oh shit. You ran Ooh. forward and picked up an M16. That's not an M16. Oh, there we go. This is the most we've seen Vietnam in a Call of Duty game, and I'm loving it. I just wish that with this game we could have seen Korea. I would, I would have absolutely loved that. Oh, yeah. and, well, maybe since this is you know like kind of like a Black Ops One based one, maybe uh, in 2022 or whenever we get the next Treyarch game, we'll get like um, oh. I don't know like a version of Black Ops Two. Yeah. Like, obviously. This is meant to be Black Ops 1, because obviously it's got the characters. We might we might see David Mason in the game, we might see like what happens after the events of Black Ops 2. Say for example if you killed Raul Menendez, what happened there? That would be pretty interesting, not gonna lie. I'm guessing we're going this way. Through the jungle, the mighty jungle, the Viet Cong is coming. This seems dodgy, pretty damn dodgy. I am fine. The path split near a ruin, so he took the right fork, not the trail to the left. Zeng and Mika. What are the commies doing here? Oh, oh, that's a horrible noise. Oh, I hate it. Good luck on your mission. Oh. Alright, cheers guys. You heard Russian voices from a cave across the river, so you went to investigate. Why is there a statue of Lenin here? No, Bell. You found the bunker by going into the cave. Oh, shit. Right. So interesting story quick about Vietnam and caves. My uncle uh, used to live in Vietnam and he actually uh, went, did this as a job, like going into caves and stuff. So, I mean, he's still done that. I've been to some in England with him, but I've never been to one, obviously, in Vietnam. I've never been to Vietnam. But my uncle like, would take some, you know, pretty high profile people down caves in Vietnam. 
to live there for a good like year. At that you point. equipped your shotgun and had a bow. Ready. A That's bow. That's when you discovered VC soldiers meeting with Soviet agents. Oh my god, that is beautiful. Holy shit. That's amazing. This whole cave just looks beautiful. Holy shit. But yeah, I find it very interesting that we're in a cave and then obviously my family, uh, my uncle, used to go caving in Vietnam quite a bit. One sec, are we meant to pick him off as he comes through? I wish this was a weapon in multiplayer. Honestly, I would love something like this. How the fuck did I miss that? This is probably not a good hiding spot. There we go. Now we're going to have to kind of sneak around. Do we just have to kill everyone? I'm trying to keep sneaky. Do we get like an achievement if we go sneaky? What was that? Jack of all trades. Kill five, get five kills with an LNG sh Yeah, basically just get five kills. <laughs> I want to know though, where's the last checkpoint? I hope it's not like ridiculously far away. Okay, now I can deal to, with it from here. You equipped your shotgun and had a bow. That's when you discovered VC soldiers meeting with Soviet agents. We know now, don't silent kill. What the fuck? How have I managed that? You equipped your shotgun and had a bow. That's when you discovered VC soldiers meeting with Soviet agents. Hey, what a hit. Bit of a waste of ammo, I'm not gonna lie. I, I wanna see if you get an achievement for doing it all sneaky and st shit. I do wanna know. You equipped your shotgun and had a bow. Interesting, this is a That's better way to do it. DC soldiers meeting with Soviet agents. We can move between. Wait, what about this way? Oh, can't go that way. All right, interesting. Right, so this is the divergent path. That's one down.
Don't kill any of these guys. Hmm. Right, I can see the other guy. I honestly can't get over how beautiful this with the thing is. Oh my god, the attention to detail on that AK is mwah, beautiful. Right, there we go. Two dead. These guys look super suspicious. Protection. Right, I'm going after these guys. I don't even care anymore. That's such a smooth AK, like, my god. It'd have been cool if you could, like, come out here. You know, just saying. Can I go down here? I can. Alright. Gonna continue sneaking around. I'll kick you. Okay, there's a hell of a lot of them. And they've already noticed me. One sec, let's head back to the last checkpoint. It better not put me before that cave section. It oh. It did. Right, we're just gonna go in a massacre and all. You equipped your shotgun and had a bow in hand. That's when you discovered VC soldiers meeting with Soviet agents. Whoa, all right. Right, now we got to sneak. Sneaky, sneaky. This guy should not be able to see me. The AI seems a bit retarded, not going to lie. Could you imagine if it, the silent kill was one where you used the fucking gun? Not very silent, is it? How the hell? That guy was walking into a wall. Dude doesn't even see me. Who the hell is that? What? Ah. Yes, Bell. That was the door into the Soviet bunker. Right, let's go. Let's go grab. Get inside. Yes, good, the bunker. Now tell me about Perseus. Ooh, spooky. Ah, we almost had it. Let's run six. Okay, ready. Bell, we've got a job to do. According to your debrief, you woke up and the rest of your crew was missing. The VC were on the ground searching for survivors. You readied your bow to take them out silently. Hey, so I'm 
Them both did. Right, mostly dead now. How these guys have not heard the shots, I do not know. The fuck? There we go. Right. They must have been hitting this. Yeah, look. He was still alive and he just didn't notice me after he'd been shot. Right, we're done. We walk into the jungle. What the fuck is that? Hey, what's that sound? The path split near a ruin, so you took the well traveled trail on your left. Not toward the waterfall on the right. It's a TV. You mentioned crossing the bridge near the village. The bunker was somewhere on the other side. They could give us like a tomahawk or something. The Zar, what's he doing there? At the fork, you followed the road right toward the sound of gunfire. Seeing a firefight, you readied your M16. Nice gunfight. Right, where must have pressed 19? Oh, this is actually a really nice house if you want to get shot at. Huh? But yeah, this would be a, like a, you know, a nice traditional Asian house. Very cultural. Hostiles. 
There we go. We head this way. Yes, this was the bunker entrance you described in the report. This could be the onset of another focal seizure. Let's use the right, because the right is always right. It's blank. Oh, the White House. Vietnam. Moscow, the bunker door, Moscow, I mean the White House, Vietnam, Moscow, door. Alright, we've seen all this. Oh, I have an idea. And then... Here. No, don't stop, Bell. Fuck, fuck. Hand me the fallback scenario manual. Here it is. Bell, we've got a job to do. Okay, we're back to your debrief. You woke up in the middle of a firefight. The crash survivors were defending against a VC attack. Ready to grenade launcher and charge the head. I wonder what all this is about. I can't wait for the answers, I guess you could say. Hang on a minute, that's not a VC. again. Uh. Right, is that all the baby Adler's debt? Well, not baby Adler's. Just Adler's. I don't know why I said baby. The path split near a ruin, so you took the well-traveled trail on your left, not toward the waterfall on the right. Getting shot at. at the bunker across the bridge. You went left at the fort, not right. Oh yeah, we went that way last time. A few allies were pinned down on a ridge. Readied your sniper rifle to assist. Where am I getting all these weapons from? Here 
come the heavies. Give Bell another injection. That could be. Do it now. Bell's heart rate is already. Heart rate is spiking. I'm not sure how much longer Bell can last. 